So it's been a while since I did my last uh, health update and um, today I am going to focus on something different and the focus today is going to be uh, weight loss and that is something positive because uh, I have uh, managed to lose a little bit of weight and that is something that has been a struggle for me before. A couple of uh, months ago I had my last uh, uh, check-in with my neurologist. He's actually a new neurologist for me because the last one uh, quit and uh, he told me that uh, maybe my disease is related to my weight so uh, he really emphasized that I should uh, try and lose some weight. I have been trying to lose weight uh, before and it hasn't succeeded and I, I always been eating and uh, drinking good so that's not a problem for me and I've always uh, been physically active but I have, I, uh, I have been prone to, to, to gain weight. My doctor told me that there is some kind of evidence that uh, my idiopathic intracranial hypertension scientifically can be linked to, to, uh, an, to an higher uh, BMI. Uh, I personally am not so sure about that, but either way, I decided to double down on uh, losing weight because there is some other positive health benefits from that. And uh, I also have a history in my family of high blood pressure and heart disease and strokes and so on. So it's just a good thing to lose weight. In the end of February, my weight was uh, about 111 kilos and today it was down to 105.8 kilos that doesn't sound much but uh, it is uh, still uh, quite a good uh, amount of weight that i have lost since uh, since uh, february and my goal has always been not to lose weight fast because i don't think that is healthy i have always had a goal of losing weight bit slow so my body can adapt to it and if you look at the spreadsheet that i have done that is something that i have uh, managed to do and in order to lose weight i uh, have had some rearrangements with my food i mostly only eat vegetarian now cut down on almost all meat and uh, after I did that in February, I started to slowly lose weight and the last couple of weeks I have also significantly reduced the amount of bread that I eat. It has had a positive effect on my, uh, my weight, to be honest. So uh, I'm going to continue with that. So obviously physical exercise is important for losing weight, burning more calories than you it is important. I don't uh, count all my calories that I eat. I completely skip that and I don't think that is healthy to do so don't do that. I just think that is not healthy to do. But anyway, I either hit the gym or I go out running when I have the energy for it. Sometimes I have to hold back on my physical exercise because um, if I have a bad flare up with my chronic illness it's completely waste of time with physical exercise because it will just make my symptoms worse. And now you probably wonder, have my symptoms decreased with losing weight? And the very short answer to that is uh, no, it has not. I still have a lot of symptoms from my idiopathic intracranial hypertension. I still sometimes have a blurry vision and uh, I get frequent headaches and I'm nauseated and uh, I'm just extremely tired. I have all the classical symptoms of idiopathic intracranial hypertension and uh, it has not been better since um, I started to lose weight. But I'm in it for a long run and maybe it will have an effect in the long run. But it's a bit frustrating that uh, my doctor told me to lose weight and uh, it might be better for my illness and I still have quite a lot of symptoms so um, yeah 
I'm not so sure that idiopathic intracranial hypertension is related to weight that much. But uh, here's the deal. Science says it is uh, linked. High weight and the idiopathic intracranial hypertension. I don't know if the evidence is strong or not, but uh, it seems to be some link with, with that. So I have to go with that. And um, maybe in the long run, he's right. And I hope he's right. But you see, I look at this this way. Even if I still have uh, persisting symptoms of my chronic uh, neurological illness, losing weight has just uh, made things so much easier for me because uh, there are so many health benefits with losing weight, like your blood pressure drops, your pulse drops. It has a positive effect on uh, my mental health and my mood and uh, my anxiety has gone down. It is just so great to do. But it's hard work. There are no quick fixes with this. You need to be hardworking, you need to be persistent, and uh, you need to have some um, discipline. But I just wanna say one thing more about the uh, sugary things and stuff like that. Uh, I haven't completely cut that out because um, sometimes you wanna be able to have a candy bar or something like that and it is okay for me. I think it's okay. It's just not going to be in a massive amount. And uh, I have never eaten that kind of stuff uh, like massively, so maybe it's not a problem for me, but uh, if it is for you, then um, it is okay to eat a little bit of that. Just have control over it. But something I never touch is uh, sodas and uh, energy drinks because they are just so bad for your health but anyway this was some positive news for me and uh, uh, hit the like button leave a comment subscribe it helps me spread knowledge about my idiopathic intracranial hypertension which is the focus of my videos and i really really from the bottom of, of my heart appreciate that you are watching my uh, vlog and uh, with that said uh, thank you and see you in the next one bye